Welcome back to my video. Today we're going to look at how do you fix error code 11 on Ream tankless water heaters. There could be various reasons for it. Uh, let's do one at a time and get to the bottom of it and see what we need to do. Uh, look forward to the video. While you're looking forward, press the like and subscribe button below. Uh, Ream water heater outdoor RTG 95 XLN-1 and you can hear you can hear the click 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 and the cold air and from the exhaust that means the water the heater is getting kicked on and the gas is getting used you, and you can hear the fan but then all of a sudden it stops and the water heater doesn't go forward uh, and subsequently get out error 11 so let's look at why uh, why you get error 11 and then uh, look at the solution that um, that's gonna make this heater work again all right continuing to our next step uh, let's remove the panel and do one more diagnostic before we surge so you can see there are two holes uh, two screws on the top and two screws on the bottom so we're gonna remove that um, all right, let's now look at, uh, with the panel being off, now let's uh, look at how is it functioning. Okay, so you can hear the click click, that means the, uh, the logic is starting on the water heater. And the fan's running, and I'm looking closer, I don't see a flame. And so this error code 11, uh, you know, while we're diagnosing, diagnosing this, this unit, uh, there's no error. So when, since there was no flame, the heater shut down on error code 11. So error code 11. Uh, there are various reasons why you get error code 11. Uh, one being do you have gas going into your uh, your heater? It could be indoor, it could be outdoor. It's the same code. Um, you know, and one way of looking at it is, and see if you know the, uh, the the valve right here, the red valve is in line, is in line with the uh, the pipe. So that means it's on. And and that that means there's gas going. The other way you can confirm that is by turning on your gas stove or your fireplace and see if there's natural gas coming in especially if it's natural gas driven fireplace and and if if it's running functionally then you can also check off there's enough pressure and volume coming to that so i think uh, you've killed two birds in one stone with that with that check uh, the other reason uh reasons possible are the so the igniter coil wire here check for damage and external damage and in this case, uh, I don't see an external damage. And these are mechanical and, and electrical parts together. So they do are, are susceptible to, to wear and tear. Um, and so in this video, we're gonna go further at looking at replacing this part number. And if you look at the description below, there's a part number for this ignition coil. And it's the same part number for uh, about six different models of remote tankless water heater. Uh, Before we do anything or touch any any part uh, in the water heater, let's be safe and make sure that we got our uh, everything turned off. So let's take the power plug off or break the circuit breaker as well. There's a other way you can do it. Uh, turn off the um, turn off the gas valve going in. Turn off the inlet water, which is blue valve going in into the uh, water heater. And then this is the water going back to the house. So leave that uh, closed as well. And then we're gonna turn on, open this this uh, relief valve to drain the tank, the, uh, the heater itself. 
switch off the circuit in the circuit board and ensure that the thermostat is off. So let's, uh, the, uh, the gas is now off, the inlet water, water is off, the outlet water is off, and open the, uh, the, the relief valve to drain water from the water heater. So let the water drain off. And as you can see, I've already taken the power off. The circuit's broken, uh, broken at the uh, circuit board as well, just to be double sure that uh, there is no chance. Let it finish draining and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, we're gonna be focusing our attempt at replacing this number four part, which is the igniter coil. And as you can see in the, uh, the screen here, uh, regardless of the model, whether it's 64XLN1, 84XLN1, or 95XLN1, the igniter coil, it's the same part number, which is RTG20235C. And you can find that on you know, parts.rim.com or supplyhouse.com or, or some website similar. Even Home Depot has some of these parts. So there, I have a demo unit, uh, you know, in the Texas storm, uh, there are quite a few uh, of our neighbors have replaced their units. And so we do have a unit that's readily available where I can grab parts. Uh, there, right now, as I've seen today, uh, the this igniter coil is back ordered for another 10 days. And so uh, to help out uh, my neighbor here, I'm picking up uh, the coil from this from this demo unit and putting it on the uh, on the in the in the my neighbor's unit okay. so by I'm gonna push this uh, this screen out of the way here uh, and I'm gonna remove the screw here to remove the the heater coil and then on the other end I'm gonna in, uh, remove pull back this plastic insert and and as you can see it's just a, a link so I'm, I can pull it back and there you go. So one end is open. I'm gonna remove the uh, the uh, the screw here. Okay. So you can see the, the screw is almost out. One side's already open. There you go. So the ignite call is this from the wire here. Now in the actual unit, we have removed the screw right here. We have disengaged the part and from the uh, igniter uh, here as well. So now uh, I've had, in just previously I've seen, uh, we have taken out a part from a, a replaced unit. And so now we're gonna put this on and give it a shot. Okay, is it secure? Okay, we put the connection, we put the tie. Let's let's now connect the igniter coil wire to the igniter itself. Place the plastic insert back and guide this wire. Use the guide to support, tie the support to the, the, the wire so it doesn't it doesn't free fall. And so it's it's properly secured on the igniter end and it's probably secured. We put back the wire from the circuit board into the igniter coil. Now that we got this igniter coil wire in, we need to uh, do our safety check and let's uh, put the wire back in. Keep in mind the, uh, the circuit, uh, we did break the circuit uh, at the breaker box. So this is just uh, one more second layer of protection here. Uh, in this case, as you can see, the, uh, the, the plumber had uh, not given us enough, enough space to put this wire. So we are struggling to get this in. Okay. And once you got that in, let's turn on the, uh, the cold water inlet first. 
the cold, then the cold water outlet. And then the gas valve let's turn it on okay so um, the next steps are turn on the circuit breaker turn it on at the circuit box and we're gonna we're gonna try it out I'm turning turning it on again just make sure that the flame is it's consistently on I can see the blue flame which is a very good sign the fans running as well we just turned on the water tap hot water tap inside the house and you hear the click the heater is turned on and I am looking at I'm feeling the exhaust a little bit and even the exhaust is warm so that gives me a few, makes me a feeling that it is turning on you look closer here you see the uh, the flame running so that gives me a success indication that the, the flame is sustained and it's turning on I got a hot exhaust coming up from the exhaust here and the unit is is consistently putting out hot water um, again the, the solution is simple and let's uh, dress it up again. Let's make sure we um, take, take our safety precautions and uh, make sure that the unit is switched off and then put on the, the cover, two screws on the top, two screws on the bottom and dress it up. And uh, we good to go on this, uh, on this error code 11. Okay, I'm back at the thermostat and we're gonna continue the test. The hot water tap is, has been on and I can see the on switch. The heater is on and let's keep rolling for about 30 seconds where the heater turns on, cycles itself and start put, puts out, putting out the hot water. And as you can see here, it's about a good 20 seconds and up and the heater is stable and there's no more error code 11. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my daddy's channel.